Hey, I'm Eric, Lead Product Specialist for Native Instruments, and I'm here with Michael today, one of our product designers, to show you the step sequencer, which is a new feature of Tractor 2.11. Michael is going to walk us through this feature and um, to demonstrate how it works. So let's get right into it. The step sequencer is based on the Remix decks. So it's basically just a step sequencer that's running on top of the Remix deck. So it's sequencing the sounds and the individual cells of the Remix deck. So let me show you how this works. So the content is very similar as what you already know. The only difference is, as you're going to see now here, is it's only filled with one shots because yeah. we're going to sample those sounds or uh, sequence those sounds. So now you see the regular view of how a Remix deck looks like. But to switch into a step sequencer, we just hold shift, hit the Remix button, and you see the new GUI coming up. Nice. So you see four basically four mini step sequencers in with here eight steps each. with eight steps each but these are also extendable i'm going to show you in a second how but let's just see how to sequence uh eight eight of those steps so you already see i hit play the sequencing light is running mm -hmm. i'll bring the fader up the first sample is going to be a kick as the name up here shows it so let's hit the kick here you hear a kick running Let's spice this a little up with, uh, for example, adding a snare. So I have a snare in the second slot and I focus on the second slot by using those buttons. So with those buttons, I can basically switch back and forth between the individual cells. Then you see this little rectangle there see the around rectangle, the display, so you, you know see, selected. You see the path and switching the to the color yeah. of, the, of the sample. So let's set a snare here. Let's add a little closed hi-hat on the three. Very classic rhythm. Um, but what if you want to sequence more than eight sixteenths? Mm -hmm. So we just use the loop encoder and extend it. So now, for example, for the hi-hat, I have 16 steps. And with those two buttons, I can basically focus between the first eight and the second eight. So let's variate that pattern a tiny bit. Go back up here. It sounds pretty static now mm -hmm. because we don't have any like groove or swing in it, like in a regular drum machine. So um, let's make this pattern a little bit more complex so you hear the effect pattern. And with this button on here, you basically get the swing widget. Oh, nice. And with the browse knob, you can influence the swing. And you hear that's already grooving a little bit more. But what else can we do with those sounds? So let me explain you what those knobs, those four knobs are actually doing. So with the first knob, you can select your sound. So if you don't like this particular sample, you can basically just navigate okay. up and down in your remix set. And you also see the name here. You see the, the name here. pops up as soon as you touch them. And exactly. Then all right. So once you decide a for a sound, let's say this one, you can even lock the sample select so you don't accidentally switch the sound. Then the second parameter is the high pass, low pass filter that we all know from the remix set. Then you have the pitch. So you can pitch your sound up and down. And obviously, the effect, effect yeah. which is in the moment, is a reverb running on here. Um, so yeah, let's just add one more, one more sound. So we have a clap here. So when you change, when you change the sizes of your patterns, um, I saw that you changed it in one step. So you exactly. can create polyrhythmic sounds as well. Yes, that's a good point. So uh, not like with any other drum machine, where I think you can only switch between eight or sixteen, like have uh, static static lengths. But here you can basically change the size in sixteenth steps. So for example, now we have seven sixteen a seven sixteenth pattern which makes it sound already a little bit more groovy and organic, even though it's so little steps, because it's kind of like wrapping around the rest of the group. And uh, yeah, I would say that that's pretty much it regarding the functionality of the step sequencer. Cool, thanks Michael. Um, and how would you use this in a DJ set of yours? So basically I just use the step sequencer to layer sounds on top of playing tracks, just to spice them up a little bit more. Also to like play my own sounds on top of um, a regular track. So let's for example use it on top of this track. So that's a track of mine which at the moment it's a very basic loop. I mean it's very bass heavy. So let's for example add a hi-hat to spice it up a little bit. So let's bring up the fader, program a classic hi-hat on the three. Let's maybe add a snare to it. And what you can do now is that, for example, you can like filter out the bass of the track um, and start adding reverb or an effect to the hi-hat only without influencing the track. So basically building, like creating a build-up. And then you can basically take the effect out, punch the bass back in, and that's like the classical club hands up effect. So um, this is how you use it. Do you 
use the D2? Are there other possibilities to use it with different controllers? Exactly. So um, it works out of the box with the D2 and the S8. So you just plug it in, hit Shift and Remix and it works. Um, but it's also MIDI mappable completely. So you can map it to any third party controller you want. Um, but we also provide uh, an F1 mapping. So you basically just load the F1 user mapping and you already get like the sequencing light going. You have all the controls there. Um, you don't have the display mm -hmm. on the F1, but as it is a 16 pad matrix, you also don't need this like switching back and forth, which the display is very useful yeah. for. So um, I think the F1 is actually a pretty good controller for it as well. Yeah, and I guess all the DJ communities out there are gonna provide some pretty cool mappings very soon, right? Sure. Yeah. yeah. All right, Michael, then uh, thanks for coming by. You guys, thanks for watching. Um, this is the new step sequencer. Check out Tractor 2.11 and the step sequencer and see what you can do with it. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.